All right, I'm back to do a little bit of adjusting. Game, but. All right. So, episode two, smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors, huh? I, I did a little bit of thinking, and I'm thinking, may, maybe that's not actually Snow's head? Maybe it's a glamour or something? I don't know, it just makes no sense to me that Snow could be dead. So, we'll see. We'll see about that. But it just makes, like, zero sense to me. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Previously. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur- <laughs> <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. I haven't seen her. <laughs> nope. Come with me. Oh, uh, they're, they're really telling us everything that happened. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. said if word of this ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill one. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! Girl name. Fuck, man. Come sniffing around this part of town. The rich fucks in the woods need to shake that. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Hmm. That wasn't exactly in the order that it happened. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get <laughs> aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and smoke. That's very helpful. Thank you. Obviously, these are the Mondays. Guess? I'm guessing? Yes? I don't know. Hmm? You missed a spot. Yeah, you just smeared it across <laughs> your face. You actually just you got smeared a it. Tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. 
I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. The witches Please. or something? Mondays. Just make it I can't, stop. I can't know about this shit. <laughs> Pigsby's like, um, I didn't do anything. We have to go now. <laughs> what did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. I but knew it. it. Works. The, the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Grab that picture. What about the camera? Isn't it running? Recording? We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big D, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. Hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. No, but... They deserve to be questioned. And I promise I'm not gonna glass anybody anymore. Actually, no. That's, I can't make that promise. Because if I have a chance to I glass somebody, thinking, Big B. I'm gonna glass them. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Mm. There's just no, no fucking way. One of us dies, and now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, let's just ignore. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Yeah, but the end but ever since wasn't we moved always to this great. awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Some of them had happily ever afters, but not Did everybody she, uh, had happily ever after. Did she give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. And, and Please, the baby. prince, but Miss he White. was, I got he it. wasn't murdered, but damn. He's still dead. That's not a very good answer. Oh, there's Blackbeard. Come on. Or Bluebeard. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? 
I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. <laughs> I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh, do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. Hmm. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought oh I might move gosh. in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. <laughs> Bluebeard smiling. Right, like, yeah. Let's get to know each other. Huh? You know, I really like spending time with you, but what is it now, Big B? Talk. I'll or ask else. you again. Why were you at Toad's? Having a cup of tea. I feel like if I hit him too much, he's just not gonna say anything. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, what's him? <laughs> Fuck! <gasps> So, <laughs> this is how it's gonna be. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. I can't <laughs> Where tell are you, the and drugs? pushing me around isn't gonna change Swear that. Me. My brother and I work hard, and we keep oh, our mouths God, shut. That's the deal. I forgot about your brother. Dumb, right? How appropriate. Where was your brother last night? Are you accusing him of something? What do you think? <clears throat> he didn't do it, if that's what you're getting at. He didn't kill her. You have no fucking right to keep me here. You have no evidence. Give me my stuff and let me go. What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Oh, you are such a big help. That's a lot of money. Damn. That is money. He's... You always carry this much cash? I don't like banks. So what? I just take the money. I don't know what the fuck just I'm happened, but I don't really I'm care. I'm gonna get, get the fuck up out of here. This shit, I'm out. <laughs> fuck this shit, out. What the shit, fuck I'm kind of out. a shakedown is this? You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Where's your brother, Dean? <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk okay? about you taking all that money later. I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's... Since we ran into you. But he didn't kill anybody. So you leave him alone. You don't call the shots here, D. You mentioned Faith. What about her? I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me there. No, there's more to it. Mm. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Tuck. What did you want from Faith? I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> All right, Silver. <laughs> you have no right to keep oh, me Oh, thanks. Here. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna smoke a cigar. I'm saving that. For what? This is really. What's the point of this? Here. You punch up my fucking face, and now you want to be best friends? No fucking way! You're out of your mind! As long as you cooperate, <laughs> no I'll be nice. Way. This is all up to you. Unbelievable. I'm trying to be unpredictable. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> yeah, I could have blew smoke in your face, too. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? Oh, to yeah, Snow White? Bluebeard, let me work. Uh, let me handle this. Exactly. Come I'm on, handling what it. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. 
Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your Ooh. boss. Oh, so let's talk you are about working your boss, for somebody. Then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. You're I can't already any in more trouble. Your questions. I should be leading the interrogation. We. You just carry this around. <laughs> Always handy that way. Glass him. What the fuck? Shh. Big B, you shit. <laughs> Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you working for? Whenever I get the Fuck opportunity, you. I'm just going to blast them. You're a piece of shit, them. Bigby. Beauty was wrong about you. You're just a sick beauty. beauty. You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? Fuck you. Don't put this on me. Yeah, fuck you. What's going on down here? I knew it! I knew it! Because I was like, why would Snow be dead? That makes no sense. I knew it. I, I feel vindicated. <laughs> it made absolutely no sense why she would be decapitated. <laughs> I knew it was going to be like some glamour bullshit or whatever. Absolutely no sense. I don't know where she has been. I guess she's just been sleeping or something. But then why would somebody leave that for them thinking that it was snow? That's the question. Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. Hey, this guy's the worst security ever. All he does is sleep. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were Let's dead. Let's just get to the point no. here. And that makes it okay? Well, no, but... You're missing the big picture here, Snow. I hope it was worth your time. How are you not okay, dead? You, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or, at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, <clears throat> so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad, I'm glad you're, you're alive. Not dead. <laughs> Me too. Aw, she noticed that. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Of course she did. I told it to her. I just straight like to her face. What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Mm. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out That's who did weird this. that somebody has the exact why same she was earrings to look and like hairstyle me. and everything. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. If I tell her and I'm supposed that... to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not. I what knew I she meant. was just well, gonna like throw some that crap I told in my you, face. I'm tired of sitting I, wait, around. I said we. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. Dude, I just I want said you to we. be careful. 
I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. No, chill. I said we will do our jobs. I, I, I'm sorry. I th your job is nondescript. It's you I do know everything. It's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. Hey. I can take care of myself. No, come on. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ's oh, yeah, waiting inside. Oh, yeah, her story? He was so freaked out last night. He wouldn't tell us much. Even now, is, he just uh... stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though. So try not to be too, you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Yeah, her uh, snow story in the homelands, it's not all like peaches and cream, if I remember right. You notice Prince Charming's not around because they're like divorced. They don't talk to each other. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Now let's go talk to them. Oh, that's enough. Mira, finish! Cancel! No. Cancel! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's what? going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? Huh? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. What? Gave him a you smack? You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. <laughs> but I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. Well, I guess it's a good thing he was here. <laughs> I don't think Big B would have really been able to handle it. <laughs> yeah, it's <DJ>. Toad. <laughs> it's all right. Like, uh, are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Like Mr. Toad. I don't remember what the fable is. Like, there's a badger. Watch yourself, Bigby. You do anything to hurt me, boy. I'm not gonna it's hurt okay. him. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. <laughs> Just spit it out. <laughs> I was there, thing. under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. You're a giant and I toad. Saw, I, I saw the lady. <laughs> Careful, Big B. Oh, right. I, I, di I didn't know that was what was going to happen. I thought he was going to say something the comforting. Lady fell in. But but she didn't have her head on. Ugh. I thought I thought she was going to pull me down too. Aww. It's a little traumatizing. She had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Is there something oh, else shit. you want to tell us, TJ? Well, it's probably better that I let Snow do the talking. Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? Thinks we just makes things I, I worse. I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. 
I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I've told you. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. <laughs> Leave him alone. I Toad's gonna remember so this shit. Underwater. Oh no. I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. <laughs> hmm. Do you know whose voice it was? No. <laughs> Did you see who it was? No. No. It was dark. Bigby, he's frightened. Okay, TJ. It's like fine. I think I'm that's enough. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home. That's all. I promise. This poor I kid. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> this kid's been crying like this Thank entire you, time. I feel okay, bad so. for him. <laughs> Let's get you out. Call us if you remember anything else. Come on then. That went about as well as I expected. I mean, like, their house got broken into. You want to go look at the body now? And then he saw a body with no head. Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Oh? Evidence. Yeah, from what I remember, uh, in the comic books, when a fable dies, obviously they can't leave, uh, evidence for the Mondays. Or when they persecute somebody to death, they throw them down this witching well. Obviously, like, when they're done, like, they're investigating and all that. At least I thought there was like an actual witching well. I kind of remember that. I don't know, it's been a while since I've uh, read the comics. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah, why does she yeah. look exactly like her? The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just Fixing do what you need to do. Okay, uh. We do the examining, I guess. This is Check her mouth? Weird. Oh. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Oh, yeah. Oh, oof. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's dead. Mm. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Gross. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. It's been like fucking two days. How many tests does he need to run? Hey, Sink. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? Oh, wait, I think we looked these up. No, nothing I've seen before. Or no, we didn't. Never mind. Anything? Oh. Oh, what are these? Oh, from the rope. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. 
they didn't want us to find the body. They wanted us to find the head. Is there something in her hand? Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is weird. Jesus, Big P. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Hmm. Why? Why are we looking here? Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. Oh. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the Here's... glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? Maybe it's a I've cheap never seen glamour. One this sloppy. It might be a cheap one. Just to get the job. Can we go talk to the witches? The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Hmm. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, You're for not sure, supposed but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding like it. That. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. It seems kind of odd that there's no law about. against black that. or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Hmm. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What else is wrong? What? Hmm. Snow, I need to open her coat. Big B, just let me. Okay. <laughs> Are you still okay? I Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself. No, up I need to know now the, the G string. It's like people, purple. Ah. We found out. I'm not finished. I finished yet. Well, get on with it then. Now this we is just waste weird. Too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. He's got purple underwear. We should keep going. Like uh, Snow, do you wear purple underwear? Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. She's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all. That's it, right? Oh, pocket. Use this. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? He's like, wolf knows. Yeah. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. You would think that when they died, the glamour would wear off. Oh, there's more stuff. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic who knows what it could do we should have it looked at just to make sure it isn't dangerous don't you think you worry too much crane I think you're trying to throw us off crane what there's something in here how do we open it I don't know might want to stand back if you're worried crane <laughs> I'm gonna try to open it something to do with these rings here Ooh. Oh, wait. Is this a puzzle? Okay. 
Huh? Wait, I think that looks like it matches. Oh no, it doesn't. Wait, one of these... No. Oh, that matches. Doesn't it? That looks like it matches. I guess not. Unless it has to like... Okay, wait, I'm gonna make these all go up. Maybe it has to be a certain... Oh, maybe- oh, okay, 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 I think I see. I think. Yeah, okay, here we go. A deer. It's, what does that mean? It's gotta be the right side. Oh. Is that like- oh. Is that her hair? Is that- It's your hair. Getting a little pissed off now. She's like, somebody, somebody took my hair. Oh, so this is how the illegal glamours work. Someone I guess. must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. Oh, my Rose, right? That's her name. Talk Rose. much anymore? Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Uh huh. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Hmm. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? Yeah, she is no, a troll. She looks a little. Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. I didn't she say it was Holly. Missing, I said maybe Holly knows. I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. Snow wants to I, come I don't with think me. I can stop I'm not Snow. Gonna stop her. But <laughs> she'll do whatever now. she wants to you do. Ready? Yeah. Plus, it's probably safer that she's with Bigsby, anyways. And not with Crane. No, I was thinking, um, I forgot. Her sister is Rose. And I think in the beginning of Fables, the comic, it starts off. This with, whole thing um, is complete bullshit um, and always has been. I the mean, investigation what's his job, of Red. To keep shit it's from reaching the woodlands. Head. Jack, Something. I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. I am back, guys. I promise I'm not gonna glass people or Come on, rip Holly. somebody's arm. I need off. entertainment. Actually, I don't promise I'm not This'll gonna do. glass somebody. But I'm not gonna rip anybody's arm off. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. Mm. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. <laughs> he loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I know who that Wolfie, guy is. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Uh, I can't remember Because, you know, is. we were just talking about you. Jack. All of us. Jack. At the bar, here. About you. I'm really. Oh, not that's uh, in the Jack mood and right the Beanstalk, now. I well, think. Well, I was Jack. in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. 
I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. Sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. <laughs> Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Big uh, look. Two fables uh, Oh, I death. thought she was going to just talk to Gren's her. sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Mm. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you said <laughs> one more fucking thing, just one more thing. <laughs> He's like, okay, I get it. I'm leaving. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Mm. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Yeah, now, now's not the time, dude. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Oh, where's she going? Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Mm, maybe, maybe this was a bad idea to bring Stove with us. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I. I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. Let's it's just let them talk. And very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? <laughs> this is why uh, Snow is like personal relations. Why she does all the PR and shit, because she's very good at talking to people. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. I'm trying not she to fuck this where up. She worked mostly. She was hooking to pay down debt. Mm. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. 
Within an the only Georgie with all its fucking Oh, Georgie. Keys. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Georgie Porgy. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie? Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Hmm. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office. I mean, office we've already looked at everything we can in the body. We found the glamour right. shit. Pet club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. <laughs> He's like, I tried really, really hard thanks. not I to use violence. I, tr I, I tried hard not to glass anyone. He's like, thank you for, for noticing that I was trying very hard not to punch somebody. I was trying not to be a... What's his face? The the sheriff guy from Stranger Things. Or <laughs> just like my answer to everything, punch. <laughs> I was trying not to be violent. Cause it was, you know, sensitive. The pudding and pie. Oh, she's got a ribbon on her neck. Just like uh Faith. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm a friend of Georgie's. Where is he? A friend? Mm. <laughs> You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Well. Oh, oh she, let, she lets right in. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. <laughs> he's like, I, I just wonder how many people are in there. <laughs> like, can I be violent with him? Will anybody else fuck me up too? Oh, he's just there with the dancer? Okay. <laughs> Well, this Welcome was to easy the pie, to get in. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your oh, desires let's just let her are go. Our the same Morgana. Desires. Your imagination and is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. I don't know if someone has sealed lips talk a lot. Wow, it was loud. Oh geez, there's boobs. I had no idea. Fox! What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. I can take it from here. Good luck. Because I, I, I may have to resort to violence. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? Just... Oh, it's you. We're closed. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. <laughs> what do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, 
Come back after midnight, maybe. I can No, you I've up. looked at the, the or, uh, terms of service. You. you can have it's nudity if your it's, style. you know, part You'd of the game as long as it's not the whole game. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Yeah, as long as like, Ooh, you don't linger I'm not here for longer that. than than you need Just stopped to. in for the chips, then. Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. <laughs> I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Oh, do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you dap git. She was a troll. No, <laughs> I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like <laughs> it's it. It's illegal because I make it 13th illegal. 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. I'm trying very hard not to glass this guy. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Big B. I didn't want to Maybe show one him, of them like, was the into actual it. A lot of glamour stuff. people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now to do with me. Voice. Go on then. The freak is fucking stereo. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? One more time. Who hired her? One more time. Oh, look at you. Look at what you oh, did. Oh, no, fuck! <laughs> I didn't have to do shit. You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? <laughs> I didn't do anything you poked Fuck's into it yourself. <laughs> oh, Big oh, B's voice. Um. Oh, who did they say it was? I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I Cover think he eyes. knows something. Take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. <laughs> Show me. Like, Shut there up. is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. I'm not, I, I, I haven't done anything yet. You're the one that fucked up your own boombox. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. <laughs> trying, trying to not be violent. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Because I know at some point it's just going to make me punch people. So. Don't even think about it. Tell me where it is. 
I'm not gonna destroy Look, anything. George, this is why the don't last you just time. Tell me where the book is. Next time. Can we please he, not go round and round about this? If he There's doesn't no say anything, book. I'm gonna smash the fuck out of the next thing that asks me to smash. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Wait, wait, wait. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sherry, hey, but there's no Tornado. Andy magic book with everything How's you want going? to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh? What is this? Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. Oh my god. I don't god. have a key to it. This guy's so Sherry, annoying. Sherry, come on. Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. You're it. <laughs> I've been enough of this. I went around. Oh, I didn't fuck up your. You, I didn't fuck up your shit. Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. <laughs> Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. Just go around, go. I swear I'll do it. You might I'll do it. Stand back. All right, all right, all right. Well, he's not gonna forget that I didn't smash his place up. That I just hit him. Like, I know he's got a business to run or whatever. Woody, come on, man. I smashed up en enough places. Wait. I like the voice acting, like, so period. All the voice acting's really tell you good. Anything, but it's a kick to Telltale the Games does a good club, job so can be that. Happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith. Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. <laughs> Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't <laughs> bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. Mm. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Guy now, talks so I've much. I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Oh, sure, make your complaints. I didn't smash anything. They're gonna be like, what? Did he smash anything? No. Hello? Business office. Like, well, are, are, are you sure it was Big Speed that went down there? I'm in the cubby hole. Oh, it's Faith's. Anything? Hmm. Lock's been busted open. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Makeup. Who locks up their makeup? <laughs> Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Hey, there's like 20 cents or something. Oh, there's a note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Hmm. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Interesting. Oh? Oh, that's just the note. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, good, she's got I heard clothes you on there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Pick the thing. <laughs> How did... 
I'm sorry. That's why she put the lipstick You're on. You're trying to place me. Uh. <laughs> they used to call me the Little Mermaid. Oh, is that Once upon Ariel? a time. Does that help? Oh, shit. My name is Nerissa. Oh. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. Mm. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Ugh. It's how things work here. People keep people using those phrases. What does it mean? Can they literally not say it? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Oh, she can't. She literally can't say it. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements. Oh, yeah, I heard the about there's going to be a season two. Didn't know when it was coming out. <laughs> oh. oh, I see. <laughs> what would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. But I got a lot of money. Took it from that Tweel D guy. Wait here for a second. Uh, it's for my investigation for situations like this. Hmm. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is we where they welcome met. you with open Enjoy arms at the open arms. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> Achievement says made them cry. Steps over. <laughs> I know it's, oh, it keeps saying the time, like late evening, but it seems to always be late evening. So it's kind of like, why even bother telling me what time it is? Look at the soda machine. Yeah, this shit'll kill ya. No refunds. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. I should probably N repair that. There's a camera, though. Can't see it from this angle. It's like right there. Wait, that's weird. It's like we're looking through the camera. 
Because it would be like, I think, right where he's looking at. No. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh. oh. Uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So you guys are loaded? now you know. No, you're not. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Beauty, I could honestly not care less about this. <laughs> it's like do I what don't you want. care. All right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt, but I guess not. So, what? what are you doing here? <laughs> Oops. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. Didn't she I recognize mean, you know, we that never really she spoke, looked like snow? She came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Mm. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind you're, of a blur. You're a lot of help, names. beauty. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. Might as well just ask her he everything. mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. <laughs> you don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens I mean, again, this looks I'm seeing pretty desperate. or snow first, all right? I tried. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. <laughs> Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. Late evening. He Gotta do point that out. <laughs> I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Oh my gosh, the sounds. Room 207. Oh, room 207. <laughs> I know it was 204, but we don't need anything in 204. Anybody in there? You know, normally I would knock. You fuck. have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Oh, why not? Seriously, what if someone found out? 
I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. Yeah, what the sound? This <laughs> is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but... He's like, out of my way, beauty. beauty. I know how to open this. Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? <laughs> oh, my God. No, no. <laughs> this Wait isn't what it looks like. How could you do this? We've been together it's through completely everything. A misunderstanding. I took care of you. I uh, love... not what you think. Please. It's going to kick my ass. You're cheating on me with him? No. No, no, He's gonna please. going to kick my ass. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Uh... Stop lying to me! Oh, shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad! Hey, <laughs> Master! I guess I it's finally kinda like, see no you offense, for but I'm not you into are. Stop, And then he's gonna be like, what, it. my wife's not you good enough for you? You hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! We don't have to do this. Just Calm down and beast. This <laughs> slowly the horns are going in this face. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Oh jeez. She's my wife, Big B. I told you. Oh, well, this is good. We've already Stop. smashed the wall. Smash the pitcher. Leave him be. This I'm, is my fault. I'm trying, but he's fucking attacking me. Please, no. I oh my gosh. Hey, I moved out of the way. Uh. Ow. Oh, ow. Oh. Oh. That was kind of brutal. I mean, he'll Make live. Me know. Don't hurt him. Ah! He was gonna get back up. I knew he was gonna get back up and hit me again. Look, he hit me again. Watch, now they're gonna make, make me to be the bad guy. She's my hey, thanks, Beast, for helping me open the door. You've been a real help. Oh shit, flowers. Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, oh, you don't want to see this. Well, this is where the, I guess, where the- Beauty, stay in the hall. This is what? where they did Why? the decapitation. What's going on? I told we did oh I told you Don't to stay anything. outside. Jeez. Is this, is this Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work <laughs> at the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. Uh, this like is they a crime didn't hear scene, okay? the commotion just out in the hallway. Do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. All right, investigation I mode. I can't believe this. Look at the cassette player. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay, N noted. Looks like she was lying down when she was... Is with the Killed. flowers? Flowers were already here. Oh. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. 
I just can't even imagine. Hmm. We shouldn't even be in here. I'm investigating. Beauty, hold hold your horses. Apple. What? Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Just apple. I actually wanted to look at the flowers. Will it let me? Nope. Okay. Where you look? Bottle. Ashtray. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. Beautiful. Oh, oh wow, this okay, different language. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Huh. What is it? <laughs> I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. Just just beauty being like she made a floor. there's a whole book about oh, Snow no. White. Do you think it there's was a poisoned? fucking whole book about you too. I have smelled that. I think it's and just movies. a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple. Which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Uh... Fuji, Red Delicious Empire. Which apple is it? Which one should I choose? Oh, there's. It, I just imagine them going to like the grocery store. I'm like, I just gonna get an apple. That's easy. And then they're like, there are so many decisions. There are so many red apples. Which one? Which one is the one that looks like in the book? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Oh no. What? What is it? Oh, the flowers. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, the that's when someone comes Faith. to kiss her. Faith's story was that's our uh... Mr. Smith. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. I'm getting that feeling, yes. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up well, here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, okay, yeah. She must have been so scared. You know, it's this a huff and puff. is investigating with you. Were the only one who smoked that crap Easier brand. if Beauty wasn't here Apparently with her commentary. Not. Not everything they pick Maybe up. Maybe she didn't he see brought it wine. Classy. Damn it. Get it together, Beauty. Be strong. For my arrival? Is it gonna be some like, like do 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 or something like that? Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, jeez. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then. And then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh, jeez. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily I connected the evidence. Create the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. Not like it it's wasn't match laid out in, the book. in front of me. God, I can see the whole picture now. 
It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book. I bet he got the, the glamour and, too and the for deep her. Sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. <laughs> so he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. <laughs> so dramatic. Oh, are those pictures of the dead girl? No. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no, Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. Oh. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Oh. Oh, and he's watching us. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, hey, hey, what did what did the guy, the mirror guy, he just did what you asked him to do. Oh, ooh. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. Oh. He could be after you now. Good, I am dying to get my hands oh. on that disgusting weasel. Yeah, I can hear the rise in his voice. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Mm. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Mm. Hello, Big B. I still think, like, Bluebeard's probably take behind it, all of this. Or I'll even take though, care of it for you. Even though it's Crane is, like, in the picture. Jeez. Is that you? Wow, why doesn't he just turn into a wolf? Like, you know, just go full wolf. Let's see here. How did I respond? 13.5% of players ignored him. <laughs> that was actually intentional. I'm like, yeah, okay. I don't want to talk to you. 36, 37.6% of players forced him to talk. Really? I, I, well, I got to glass him, so I'm okay with that. 91.9% .9 of players let her make her own decision. I feel like we all knew that no matter what we told her, she'd probably just do whatever she wanted anyways. 30% of players hit Georgie. Surprising. 13.2% of players hit Beast a second time. I thought he was gonna hit us again. And he did. He fucking threw a bottle on our head. Boom. Boom. Yeah, this will, like, the credits will tell you the, uh, voice actors. Oh, well, that was interesting. What time is it? It's like 2 o'clock. I think uh, I'm gonna stop here for tonight. It was two episodes. They're not bad. They're about two hours long. So, two episodes, four hours. Well, it's two and a half. That was actually kind of a shorter episode. Adam Harrington, he also did the uh, wood, woodsman man, whatever. I 
I like it. I like the um the style. I like the voice acting. I like that it's like a mystery. You're trying to solve it and there are lots of choices and I'm not <laughs> The only thing is is like compared to The Walking Dead. In The Walking Dead when I had a choice, I fucking knew when I made a really bad choice and I kind of saw the consequences to that choice quite like soon after or here I'm not entirely sure like when my choices are gonna come back and bite me in the ass like I make a choice and then it's like oh so and so will remember that choice I'm like oh shit what does that mean later on <laughs> and it doesn't really quite uh, tell you all oh, the pets Secret Agent Cody. Snarfles. Snarfles. So, yeah, and the choices. <laughs> I feel like I'm making bad ones, and sometimes I feel like I'm making good ones, and then it, uh, kind of isn't what I think. What are these extras? I keep seeing this book of fables, and I'm, I'm curious what they are, because I'm wondering if they kind of... Uh, okay. It just adds more to the profile, maybe? I think this is a good uh, game to get people into Fables, and I highly recommend reading Fables. Fables is a good comic book series. It's long, though. It's really long. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting if you like fairy tales, like this whole premise of these fables, the fairy tales, having to come into the real world. It's less about, uh, like, fairy tale characters having to survive in the real world. It's more stuff like this where there's things happening within their community and they have to try to figure out, like, who is causing it. And then there's a lot of stuff about the homelands. There are things about how they're homesick. Some people are homesick and how they thought it was better in the homelands. And that, because there's the farm where if you don't get a glamour done, then, and if you're not, if you don't look human, then you're going to have to go to the farm. Like the, uh, like the pigs. The, uh three little pigs and it's usually like oh if you don't have the glamours if you can't pay for it that's where you end up or some people choose to live in the farm because you can be free to be who you are and not have to hide as a human but but people like Mr. Toad here he wants to live out you know outside the farm be more civil maybe that's what he's used to but, you know, glamours are expensive, and so then there's a whole other thing, like, should glamours be free to people who want to live in the city? Like, why do you gotta pay for it? That's one of, like, Colin's things. Like, he feels like the farm is a prison, but he can't afford the glamours. Or he doesn't want to, uh... Like, he wants to live as a pig, but that's the thing. Like, if you want to live in New York, then you're gonna have to have a glamour because of the Mondays. There's only so much that they can keep out. And I think there's like a whole subplot about the ones that are kind of homesick about the homeland. I mean, it's still, it's still like a under contention. Like, it's still in a war. Uh, they just escaped that war and they've just chosen to kind of ignore what's going on in the homeland. So there are people that, you know, they want to take back their homelands. They're like, we should go back and we should fight and take it back because, like, this is not our home. There's too much shit that happens out here and people are pissed and we're like, why don't we just go back to the way things used to be? We should just, you know, fight and go back and obviously not everybody agrees with that. Good series. I haven't even finished it. I think it's ongoing. I think it's still ongoing. I don't remember. But all this is very interesting. <laughs> Seeing us. See, there's the farm. Who can't pass as humans or they don't want glamours. 
Yeah, they resent her confinement. And the Mondays. Prince Lawrence. The Tweedles hired goons. <laughs> I wondered who he was. Grendel. Ah. Oh. Fiercely loyal. Oh yeah, Bluebeard. There are some, I think, people also that are... feel resentment towards some fables like Bluebeard who his fortunes are largely on what he was able to smuggle out of the homeland. Like, there are people like Beauty and the Beast who, in the homelands, obviously, they were rich. They had a castle, they had servants, and everything, but, like, when they came out of the homelands, they weren't able to bring a lot of that stuff with them, because they, they had to leave really quickly, and there's a little bit of resentment there. Oh, there's more stuff? 13th floor, the witches and wizards. The witching well. Yeah, used to dispose of things meant never to be seen again. Dead fables are committed to its depths, as are most unredeemable criminals. It's widely assumed to be the passageway to the final resting place. Oh, Jack Horner. He thinks he's the most important person in Fable Town. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Troll Cross. These are interesting. Oh, wait a sec. So, a troll cross is an amulet made of iron and was foolishly thought to protect the wearer of tro from trolls. Lily acquired hers while wandering through the wilderness searching for something to eat. She came across a human, but before she could devour him, he held the troll cross out and shouted, Back! Back, you troll! After enjoying her tasty snack, Lily plucked the cross from the dead man's hands. After the exodus, she wore the troll cross constantly as a reminder of better days. Oh, so it doesn't actually ward off trolls. <laughs> she just wears it as a memento. Georgie Porgy, the pimp. Clever Hans. He does everything. He's a bouncer, he's a janitor, he's a handyman. Nerissa. Nerissa's story never had a happy ending. She's known as the Little Mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in the hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Nerissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world, hoping for a better life. Now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. That's sad. Actually, some of the um, stories, the fables, from what I remember, they are... Uh, they don't, they're not the happy Disney versions, and some of them have been expanded on a little. Like Snows, I think, has been. I don't know. I don't know if they'll go into that or not, because it is part of the, uh, the comic book series. I kind of want to like read it again now. <laughs> Alright, enough of my, my ramblings about fables. Thanks guys for for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a good night or good day and uh, I will I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, what was I doing? Okay, bye. <laughs>